Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first C Sharp project in your Visual Studio 2015 IDE. So let's get started. First of all, uh, most probably you already have installed uh, Visual Studio 2015. I have the community version of uh, Visual Studio 2015. It's free uh, to install, so you can uh, just download it from uh, Visual Studio website, right? So once you have installed uh, this Visual Studio 2015, you just need to open it and go to files here and then go to new project. And in the project section, you have some templates, right? So you have Visual C Sharp, Visual Basic, JavaScript, Visual C++ and other uh, templates, right? So we just need to uh, choose uh, this template, which is Visual Studio C Sharp. And in here also, we have uh, multiple uh, categories for, uh, you know, creating Visual Studio C Sharp project. Now, for now, we are going to uh, create a Windows Form application, which is a, a graphical user interface application using C Sharp. Okay, so just choose this option, which says Windows Form application. And in here, you can give the name to your project. For example, my project and uh, some other name if you want some uh, application name for example you want to create a calculator you can uh, give the name calculator project or something like this okay and then this is the location where your project will be uh, saved so if you want to know where is your project you can go to this path okay and then just click ok now it will take a few seconds uh, to create your uh, project and once your project is created you will be able to see uh, some kind of uh, form here so you can see this form and on the right hand side here you can see the solution explorer okay and this is uh, the project you are creating or you have created and inside a solution you can uh, create multiple projects so for example right now in our solution we have only one project but uh, we can right click on our uh, solution explorer and we can create a new project also like right so for now this project which is my project is going to contain uh, essentially two main files one is the designer which is form1.cs and the other is the back end of uh, this uh, form where we are going to write some code right so for now let's uh, resize our form for example and on the right hand side you will be able to see this kind of a toolbox right sometimes uh, it's uh, you know uh, collapsed so you will be able to see this kind of toolbox option here so you just need to click it to expand it and in order to uh, you know make it permanent you just need to click this pin button which is going to fix this here on the left hand side right now in this toolbox you will be able to see different kind of controls right you can see button control you can see checkbox list box or many other uh, you know controls right and uh, these controls you can drag and drop into your form so for example i want to add a button to my form i will just choose the button and drag and drop into the form right and this is going to uh, you know uh, place this button in the form now you can resize uh, this uh, control like these like dragging and dropping and you can change the property of uh, this button by going to the right hand side bottom section now in this properties uh, section you can first select your control and change the properties of your uh, control whatever you have selected from here so for example i want to change the property of this button just select the button and uh, for example i want to change the text of this button go to the property called text and in here instead of button one you can just write click me and press enter and this uh, text is shown here directly right for example i want to change the image i can uh, just set the image in the background for uh, this button or for example i want to change the font size so i can uh, just click the font property 
and just click these three dots here which is going to open this uh, pop-up box and in here I can uh, say I want the bold font for my uh, button text and I want the font size to be 16 and click OK and you can see the font size has been applied for example I want to change the color font color or four color here I can change it you can just uh, choose and then uh, choose any color from here or you have the control for example red then the red color will be applied here okay now we want this button uh, to do something right so whenever we click this button we want uh, some message to be uh, shown for example so to uh, you know write some uh, action uh, for uh, this button click you just need to select your button and double click on it so double click on it and then you will be able to see the code behind of your project and you will be able to see this uh, function which is called button one click and inside here you can uh, write some code to show some message for example you can write uh, message box which is going to show you the message box when you click this button so message box dot show and then you can so show the message so for example i want to show some message that uh, what message i can show for example this button has been clicked right so this button has been clicked okay and once you have done everything you have written your code you can uh, just run your project by clicking the start button so just click this uh, start green button and uh, first of all this visual studio is going to compile your uh, project and then it's going to show you the results so you can see the result here and once you click this button you will be able to see this kind of message that this button has been clicked right so this is how you can create your first Visual Studio uh, project in Visual Studio 2015. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.